Okay, uh, joining me now on the Eight Count Boxing Hour is the uh, former WBA Junior Featherweight Champion of the World, former WBO Featherweight Champion of the World, and currently the United States Boxing Association Featherweight Champion. This is Louis, the sharpshooter Espinosa. Louis, thank you for joining us. You bet. Okay, we're here at the Hideout Boxing Club where Louis is getting re uh, preparing for his big uh, show here. Uh, Louis, I want to ask you a couple questions here. Um, you're currently the USBA featherweight uh, champion. Uh, you fought Lupe Gutierrez on uh, ESPN for that uh, title, and that was a great, uh, just exactly what we thought it would be is what it turned out to be. Uh, how did you feel in there with Lupe Gutierrez? I felt very confident. We were well prepared, and uh, I just felt very confident going in there. And uh, I mean, just, you know, I got one thing on my mind, and that's becoming world champ again. And, uh, that's where we're headed. Okay, Louis, uh, were you surprised at how easy actually that fight was? Knowing Louis, uh, Lupe Gutierrez. Yeah, recognition? actually, actually, yeah, but uh, I, uh, not taking anything away from Lupe, I was just fired up and ready to go. And uh, uh, when Louis in that in that mode, it's, yeah, it was pretty hard. Hard to stop. Okay, now, uh, uh, Louis, you uh, twice battled uh, the former world champion uh, El Romero Mero, uh, Jorge Paez. Uh, I think the first time was a draw, and the second time was a close decision. Split decision. Uh, so you guys are like right there, you know. Uh, how about a third time around? Would you like to go with him again? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, well, it's, it makes for a very good fight, and uh, I just, you know, I, it just makes a good fight for mm -hmm. the fans. It's a very good fight. Did uh, did he get it get to you at all with his clowning antics? No, none of that bothered me. Uh, didn't bother me at all because I knew that's what he was trying to do. Yeah. Well, I know that your mind is so focused that you probably just looked through that to him. Exactly. There were two great fights, and I'd really like to see that happen again. Uh, Louis, your amateur background. Uh, what kind of amateur background did you have? Well, I had a record of 44 and 4. I, I had fought amateur for uh, a little over two years, and I didn't. I really didn't feel I had a the amateur style, so I just I turned to pro. Right. Well, was, we're glad that you did because it's been exciting for boxing. What are some of your better memories as an amateur? Do you have any really that stand out in your mind? As an amateur, uh, just uh, the experience of, of just traveling, going to different tournaments, and, and uh, just fighting in different uh, cities. That was, that's, that was uh, really kind of experience. Sound exciting yeah. as a young man, you know. Okay, now let me ask you, when you're talking about, uh, you're aiming again at the world title. Uh, the current champions at the top of the heap there are uh, Young Kyung Park for the WBA. He's uh, from Korea. 21 wins, one loss, one draw, 12 knockouts. Uh, are you familiar with him? No, I'm not. I just, I think he's the one that uh, won it from uh, Esperagoso. I'm not sure. I think so, yeah. That sounds right. How about uh, Manuel Mantecas Medina? I know he fights in the, the uh, forum in L.A. and I've yeah, seen him I've several times. Him, I've seen him a couple times. How would you like to go with him? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, hopefully someone will work out and get some worked out for a week or two time in the future. Mm -hmm. And uh, this fight here in Albuquerque will be import an important step towards that world title oh, shot. Yeah. I'm sure if you're Every impressive. fight, yeah. Every fight is just... You gotta, do, you gotta do good. Right, like going up the ladder, step by step. Uh, the other champions, Paul Hodkinson, uh, the WBC champion, 19 1 and 1 with 18 knockouts from the from England. Uh, have you seen him in action? I saw a little bit of the first time him and Viasana fought. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I saw him, and he was uh, very busy. Okay. Very busy. Well, we're a little short on time here. The champions have got to go. I'm going to ask them just a couple quick questions. Uh, Louis. Who are some of the fighters that you admired growing up as a, as a young man that you saw on television or heard about? Well, uh, just coming up, I remember Alexis at well. mm -hmm. and I named my little boy Alexis at well. yeah. And uh, Uran, Uran, yeah. coming up. I just I remember watching those guys when I was little, and then what really uh, got me really wanting to start boxing was uh, Duran and uh, Leonard Moore. Oh, just yeah. watching those two oh, guys. classic, yeah. Okay, Louis. Now, uh, t today's fighters, uh, it's a whole different world now. But there's a lot of good fighters out there. Who are some of the of your favorite fighters right now? Oh, yeah, a lot of great fighters. I mean, there's so much talent out there. So I really can't. You know, there's so many names yeah. out there. Okay. Uh, well, let, let me just throw. Well, how about uh, your buddy there, Michael Carvajal? Oh yeah. He's, he's one of the examples. Mm -hmm. uh, so good example. A good example, like yourself. Who well, I've always liked, uh, Luis Espinosa, the sharpshooter. You're, you're really a, a, a treat to watch. I mean, a hardworking champion. And uh, are you? Is uh, Paul Persifield still? Uh, yeah, he's my manager. He's your manager. Yeah, okay. Danny, he's training me. Okay, is Paul here in town, or will he be here? Uh, he will be Monday or Tuesday, I believe. Okay. And uh, one last question: Are you comfortable fighting here in Albuquerque? How do you like Albuquerque? Oh, I, I like I like it a lot. The people are very 
you know, make me feel at home. And mm -hmm. So it's just like my battle. Okay. Well, those are the thoughts of uh, the sharpshooter Louis Espinosa, who hopefully we'll see in a world title fight very soon. Louis, thanks so much for your time. Thank I you. really appreciate it. You bet. For the eight count boxing hour, this is Dance and Snarrows with Louis Espinosa. Okay, Louis. Don't get your autograph.